cars on the road. That's like maybe um, 28 days later. Yeah. Oh my god, that is a speed mountain! Welcome to Sports and Touring, and would you believe it, somebody's back from university, Damani. Hey. hey. <laughs> and unfortunately he's back from university because basically everything's being locked down at the moment, as you well know. So uh, uh, unfortunately there really isn't a lot of places to go or things to do. And uh, given that there could be a lockdown of just about everything anytime soon, we thought we'd take this one last chance to get out in the car, have a little drive, see some sights before the car gets parked up and maybe we won't be able to drive anywhere pretty soon. All right, let's go do it. So we are on the ridiculously slow 20 mile an hour road to London, like it's 20 miles an hour just about everywhere these days. But it's still quite nice just to be able to drive around, there's absolutely no way we would be going on public transport right now. No way. No way. He's even so paranoid he's still wearing his bandana, or far. I think he's wearing it just because he thinks it looks cool. He's got to stay protected at all times. <laughs> This is the first time I think I've driven with the new Tarmac Sports Short Tails in London and we're just cruising along at obviously 20 miles an hour because that's the speed limit right now and uh, it's very quiet isn't it? It's actually 30 but... Oh it's gone to 30 now. It was 20. It's only and now just... it's going straight back to 20. <laughs> it's fine we're turning right here anyway. Yeah it definitely sounds a lot louder now for sure. Yeah but we were just driving around it's actually like relatively quiet isn't it? I mean I've got the speed limiter set so it kind of just kind of softens everything when you're cruising along at that speed. But what? I won't call it quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's let's have a listen and see what it sounds like. Let me see, I want to try and drive it as quietly as I can. Oh. That's alright, it's not too bad. It's not it's not too as it's not asbo. No, it's not asbo. It's nice and quiet. Yeah. And civilized. I think it is. Yeah. Oh, Rolls Royce <laughs> race. Ooh. Do you know what? It's so interesting being back in London compared to where I go to uni. Like just the kind of cars that you see around everywhere. Yeah. Like even I was telling you, it literally like. Oh. Geez. Yeah, it's loud. <laughs> Sorry, right. As you were saying, uh, where you go to uni is kind of in yeah. the middle of nowhere. As I was saying, it's kind of in the middle of nowhere. And um, you never really see any like nice cars around. It's very rare to see. Yeah. Um, but I got back to London because of this whole coronavirus scare. And in my first day back, I'm just driving along and next to the M4, I see a LaFerrari in yellow, just cruising around in the rain. No Fs given. <laughs> <laughs> driving a three point whatever million pound car just around in the London streets in the rain uh, but yeah it was just crazy maybe they had the same idea as us it could be their last chance before a lockdown maybe yeah better get out in the LaFerrari <laughs> but yeah it's just nice to see a lot of like cool cars as well it's like driving around you see Rolls Royces Porsches, Porsches. Ferraris bunch of angry looks. Really? <laughs> <laughs>
we would not have yeah. been able to do what we're doing right now. Mountain. It's not a speed hump. Oh, you know what? That's actually a lot better than I thought. Yeah, that's all right. A lot better than I thought, you know. It didn't feel good, did it? It felt close, but it wasn't. Yeah, it was. It, it felt a lot closer than it was. It's just so weird being able to drive around and so few cars on the road. It's like that movie, um, 28 Days Later. Yeah. Oh my God, I swear to God, this was one of the bridges they filmed, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah, that's what, that's, what, that's what made me think of it. That'd be a cool comparison video. What would you rather have? G-Wagon or Bentayga? <laughs> Honestly, what would you rather have? Uh, I think a G-Wagon. I, I, I don't know. The Bentley is really cool. I think it's kind of got that. I don't know. The Bentley is very cool. But the G-Wagon is just cooler. I, just, think I think it's just a fact. Like everyone loves the G-Wagon. Yeah. Like it's such a timeless design. It's had the same design for the past however many million years. Yeah. And it still looks freaking good. Yeah. driving along and someone was like oh my god stop 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 because we just saw an Aston Martin Signet I actually I think I've seen one of these ever I think so I think one ever but wow this is pretty crazy like just have a look at this thing it's based on a um, Toyota Igo it was only they only made a few of them I'm pretty sure they cost something ridiculous like 30,000 pounds from you 35,000 pounds from you the only reason Aston Martin made this was so that um, they could pass their emissions test for the EU at the time because you, it was a, an average across all of their cars yeah. in their range so they brought this out just to lower it but look at this thing, it's just <laughs> it's so funny it's got the proper Aston Martin tail lights everything look at this interior, for a little hatchback it's pretty Pretty interesting little car to be fair. If you've got an excessive amount of money and you need a little city run around, then it is a very cool car. We just got to the McLaren dealership and we're just gonna have a quick look. You look ridiculous in that mask. You look ridiculous without a mask. Oh! <laughs>
cars that are in here. We've got 720, 720 Spider, and another 720 in that colour. You're not allowed to have the Senna. So I can have the Senna and what, any one of these other cars. But you have to have one of these. What would it be? None of them. None? Nope. I'd get two 12 C's instead. Listen to us like we're going to buy one tomorrow. <laughs> Although, I have to say, I do quite like McLaren. And uh, if the world doesn't go into an absolute collapse, then uh, I'd quite fancy a 570. For Damani, I wonder, what car have you seen so far today that uh, that you actually thought, yeah, I like that? Anything in particular, apart from the 370 Nismo, obviously? Obviously. Obviously. Um, there was a really nice Mazda RX-8. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shush. If I had to take one home that I saw today, unfortunately we didn't catch it on camera, but there was a, an 812 Super Fast and that was really nice dark blue that drove past yeah. us when we were parked up at one point. It was very nice. Oh, what about you? Um... I don't know. If it's restricted to the ones on the road, I think I'd probably pick the same. Although we did see that 570 and I do quite like those at the moment. Oh, speaking of 570s, there's one just over there. That, yeah, was, nice. that was nice, I like that one. You know what? Nice colour. See the spec on that 570 yeah. where it's like the light grey with the orange brake calipers and the orange seat belts and then orange details in the interior with the black accent, the carbon accents all around. That is, that is my, that is my dream of McLaren setup. Light grey with orange accents. Yeah, it does look nice. Yeah. I know it's such a classic colour for McLaren orange, but I've never been a huge fan of the orange, and I'd probably just desecrate it with red instead. Yeah. But that's, that's just me. You're a five-year-old child. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Let's get back in the car. Yeah. Right, so that's the end of our little adventure into London. It was really freaky how few cars there were on the road, don't you think? Yeah, it was really weird. It was nice to be able to drive out around London and, you know, not be stuck in traffic, but at the same time, I kind of feel sad. But we did get to see some awesome cars. We did get to window shop for McLarens. Yeah, that was cool. And I really enjoy spending the quality time. It's nice to have you back. Yeah, nice to be back. So if you've enjoyed this, make sure you give us a like, hit the subscribe button, and leave a comment. Tell us where would you have gone in London for your one last drive before the lockdown and uh, let's see what kind of ideas that you would have come up with. Anyway, thanks again for joining us and we'll see you next time on Sports and Touring.